What is up guys, Johnny Tsunami Zero One here with another FIFA 18 formation guide. Today we're going to be talking about the 4-1-2-1-2 second variation. Extremely balanced formation, one of the best formations in FIFA 18. As always though, make sure to check out all my previous tutorials if you have not done so already. And make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future ones. Alright guys, let's start off with the best instructions and the ideal players for this formation. With the right back and the left back, as always, tell them to stay back while attacking. Have at least 85 pace and at least a defendant. And when we were over to the center back, again, keep them on the default. Stay back while attacking and make sure they have at least 70 pace and at least 85 defending. Very important that these guys are not just good defenders, but also quite pacey, especially if you're playing an ultimate team. Then we move over to the CDM position. You want him to be cut passing lanes and stay back while attacking. This guy has to be a good defender. He has to be a true CDM. Unless you feel really comfortable with your defending skills, make sure this guy has at least 75 to 80 defending and at least 70 pace. This guy is going to be the one that's helping out those center backs. Other than that, you don't really have too much help. So you got to make sure this guy is really good and you feel comfortable with your defending skills. Then we move over to the left mid and the right mid and you want both of these guys to just to cut inside. Want them to be pacey players because they're so far back and you want them to have good dribble and stats. Then we move over to the center attack in mid and this guy with the strikers are going to be your main goal scorers. So you want him to be a good passer, pretty good dribbler, good pace, good all around player. You got to make sure this guy is really, really solid and can help out your strikers in scoring some goals and assisting them for those goals. Lastly, we got the two strikers, guys, and what you want to do is both of them stay central, but now you want to pick the one that's a little bit faster and tell him to get in behind. The one's a little bit slower, a little bit stronger, tell him to be target man. Of course, you can change that up depending on how you prefer. If you prefer both of them to get in behind because you like them both to be pacey and you want them to be constantly making runs, you can do that. If you want both of them to be more target man so they stay back a little bit and help you out with possession, you can do that as well. For the custom tactics guys, again, this formation works great with my best custom tactics video guys. I always get comments asking for the custom tactics, definitely use that one. I recommend this formation because it's super, super balanced. If you want a balanced formation, good for attacking and defending and all around attacking from the outside, attacking from the middle, use this formation. Pros and the cons, again, balance. It's very balanced, not just because defense is good and offense is good, but also because you can really attack from the wings, you can cross, you can do skill moves with this formation. Another big pro is that it has two strikers. Two strikers usually are very good goal scorers, so you're going to be able to score a ton of goals, especially with a center attack and mid right between them, assisting them for those goals. The spacing is quite nice. I really like how the center attack and mid with those strikers, you can really get the ball to him and look for those runs to be developed. And the last pro is that, of course, the defense is really solid because it has a CDM. It has a player that if you put the right player in that position, he's going to help out those center backs and it's going to be a really powerful defense. The biggest con could be that it really requires you to have good defenders. It really requires you to have a good CDM because if that CDM is more of a center attacking mid or a center mid that likes to go up the pitch, you're going to have a huge gap in the midfield and the opponent is going to be able to abuse that. So make sure that you have a good CDM to help out in that midfield. If not, the midfield is not going to be very good. How do you use this formation, guys? Like I said before, you can attack from all angles. You can attack from the wing. You can attack from the middle. The key to this formation is you want to change it up. Constantly be changing it up. Don't stick with one attacking style. Of course, I always say that, but with this formation, it's even more true because you got so many different options. You can use those left mids, those right mids, but usually you want to get most of your scoring, and you're going to notice from your striker and that center attacking mid. So try to get it to the center attacking mid and look for those strikers to play a two-man game up the pitch but obviously always change it up. All right, guys, now I'm going to show you some examples of me using this formation in-game. Like I said before, guys, so many different options for you to use with this formation. In this one, I'm doing a quick attack, a quick counterattack. You can see it quickly got the ball up to the striker. And then, like I said before, playing that three-man game with those two strikers in that center attack in mid, that's where most of your goal opportunities are going to come from. You can really do quick, short passes, those one-two passes with those players. Look for those runs to develop. Use that center attack in mid to have good passing stats to pass it to those strikers. Then then have two pacey strikers that you can get in there, get in behind their defenders, and you can find them with passes. Play that one-two pass between the strikers. Really a lot of different options here. Once again, got the ball up to the striker, and then once again, my center attacking mid in position there, making a nice little run, and then just doing some skill moves to get an opportunity to score a goal. But that's what really what you want to do. You want to attack through the middle, 
attack through those strikers, attack through that center attack and mid, play a three-man game there, quick, short passes, and then look for them to make runs. And then obviously, later on in the game, switch it up. Here I get an opportunity with Robin, going from the wings this time and actually passing into the middle. Of course, the spacing's really nice with the wings. You can look to the middle, to see those strikers open, get them the ball, and then again, play that two-man game, score a ton of goals. Strikers usually are the best scorers in this game, so you're gonna get a lot of opportunity to score a ton of goals. Look for them, make two-man games with them, and the center attack in mid. But that is it, guys. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, share with all your friends. Click on one of these playlists. Check out some of my other videos. I got tutorials with everything in FIFA 18, including attack and defend and passing. You name it, I got it. Top five videos of my top five skill moves, my formation, guys, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much.